with just this. Hey there guys, Kagatron here and welcome back to another video on the channel. For today, me, I will be joined by Ignite the Fire, where today we'll be going over our top 10 chase variants, so five each. Um, so before we get started, I just want to give a special shout out to Ignite the Fire for joining me for this one. Where, I think we're going to start out with him, so I'm going to let him guys, take over. I've got a spark which I'm going to use to ignite the fire for a brand new a collaboration, but this time it's going to be with Conquertron. Now this has been a long time of making, so my apologies tip for video has taken me this long to get around to, but regardless, we're talking about our top 10 favorite chase variants and boy my list is a rather interesting one because it kicks off with a christmas chase variant that at first glance from a photo you wouldn't think looks all that impressive but i have the luxury and the pleasure of actually owning Snowbright stormblade here and in person she looks a lot better than she does from any photos in fact this video here isn't even doing her justice so first of all they did change up the background art for this chase variant which very rarely occurs it's only really for christmas chase variants that they wind up changing even for packaging for and with snow bright storm blade the design is just really clever first of all the shade of green is beautiful like absolutely lush and gorgeous but it's green and gold to really symbolize the colors of a christmas tree because you often have the luscious green with the of course gold tinsel and stuff so yeah this character truly does look like a christmas tree because she even has the christmas lights which form up her blades along her wings so it's really well thought through and the colors just have a nice sharp contrast and just are the appropriate shade to look absolutely awesome this chase variant really stands out in close and personal i'm really impressed with how good it actually looks physically and it's why she's actually getting the number five on my portion of the list here just because she truly is more than meets the eye all right so my fifth favorite um chase variant or in this case chase variants is going to be the uh gold silver bronze swap force trio where I think it's Stink Bomb, Trap Shadow, and Doomstone. They've each got a different um, pattern. So like there's silver, like a silver gold, and then gold bronze, and then uh, bronze gold, which is, I forget which one is assigned to what, but I, I thought they're all pretty cool because I actually quite um, like the bronze and gold and silver looks just on Skylanders alone. And I really like the fact that if you collect um, all of them, and you you kind of have to take them out of box to get like gold and gold, silver and silver, silver and silver, and bronze and bronze. But like, it's still a really cool concept, I think. Um, yeah, which is why that's my fifth favorite, or like seventh, sixth, fifth, I guess. I don't know. Tron seems to be kicking off his list with some rather strong uh, chase fans, mind you. But next up for my personal list is going to be a crystal chase variant. Now we see these in abundance for, of course, for Sky uh, throughout the Skylanders franchise, you say, to be specific. But there is one which stands out above the rest, that being Crystal Tough Look. Now what is it about Crystal Tough Look that is as awesome as it is? Well, the fact that the entirety of the figurine is translucent for figure, for actual base itself as well, which means that the really sharp red that you see from the bottom of the base really seeps through very well. With this Crystal Chase variant, her obtaining weapons and her eyes remain. It really adds to the stealthiness of the character and makes her a lot more just intimidating, really. This figurine just brings out her personality with a lot more strength. And so the choice to keep the eyes and the Traptanian weapon as their regular colours, but then make the rest of the figurine its usual crystal translucency nurse, which I'm pretty sure isn't a word, but it is now because I said so. Regardless of all that, those multiple factors in combination just make this a rather glorious chase for to look at. And again, I'm honoured to own it and be able to present it before you. So my fourth favourite one is actually going to be Snowderdust. Snowderdash? I think it's... 
Snowder Dash, which is the Swap Force Christmas Edition variant of Light Core Smol Smolder Dash, which has the like white glitter body with like the blue flame sticking out the end, and it looks really cool. I actually don't have my hands on any of these figures that I will be talking about, but that doesn't mean that I can't appreciate how nice they are. Um, like just looking at pictures, it looks quite nice, and like it's Smolder Dash, so like it's kind of hard not to like her because she's actually really good. Snowder Dash, very wise choice right there because she is also one of my personal favorite chase variants. So it just goes to show that great minds think alike. With that being said, another one of my favorite chase variants is actually Sparkle Sonic Boom. A very simple chase variant. She's got a rather blocky color to her as the entirety of the figurine is just sticked out in white. You'd think that would be nothing special until you take a closer look because it's called Sparkle Sonic Boom for a reason. There's glitter scattered all over it, which adds an element of beauty and contrast because it really really gleams in the light as you can somewhat see because of the light reflecting on the actual packaging itself but yeah the figurine looks really good decked out in glitter and it's clearly an inspiration for later light scars to come like with nightlight when they put glitter all over him so the fact that this chase variant led to the great figurines of the scanders pro scene it is what ultimately makes it so influential so important to the franchise as a whole and so damn glorious this crystalline it's just beautiful and Sonic Boom overall she's a pretty you know beautiful character she fights as a family so having that additional beauty brought out through the sparkleness of the glitter and just the blocky whites of the color of the trace variant is ultimately what makes it such a perfect fit and I love this chase variant hence why it's number three on my personal list mind you so for my third favorite chase variant is actually going to be the um, Halloween Fright Rider. Um, it was a Frito-Lay promotional item where I think you entered in one something. It was like, yeah, it was something to do with Frito-Lay like they did with uh, the Firebone hot dogs and such. And I chose it because I really like Fright Rider in general, so right off the bat is like it's got that going for him. And then the orangey gold on for Fright Rider on top, I think the bottom is Ozzy and he's black with, they both got the white eyes and like with the color glimmer to, that they got to him, it looks really nice. And I, it's actually quite expensive, but you know, that's just all the more reason to get it is because it's kind of rare, you know? Well, I suppose that's kind of the thing with all chase variants. So firstly, Conkatron is going to take away my ability to put Halloween Fright Rider onto my list because, uh, spoiler alert, he would have been my number one. So the fact that not only he stole that from me, but he didn't even put Halloween Fright Rider at number one. Boy, if you're dasty and that sky tuber right now. Oh, he got this deadly wrong because this variant is too glorious, too detailed to dare be kept within its packaging. I couldn't help myself but unbox it. That also, it really annoyed me looking at the packaging, seeing how damaged it was. So I wound up unboxing it anyway because it was pretty much already there, given how damaged the packaging was. But enough of my rambling. This chase variant is great. I am glad it made an appearance on Conquertron's list, but again, it deserved number one. So with that being said, we can't both have the same chase variant on both our lists, can we? So I'm going to put him to one side, gently, and tell you what my true number two is going to be. Metallic Chrome Spyro, the only chase variant on this list that I do not own because it is ridiculously expensive. And it's so obvious why, because it looks so damn good. It's a metallic that truly is incredibly shiny. Like, you thought Sparkle Sonic Boom was shiny and sparkly. Well, that ain't nothing in comparison to uh, Metallic Chrome Spyro. It looks glorious. It really fits the design. Just this metallic-like dragon. It's the main reason why Metallic Cinder is so cool, given that the purples are really intimidating and also shiny. But that didn't make the list. It's Metallic Chrome Spyro that we're here to talk about, exclusive to E3 of its year. And it's just, it looks really damn cool. I'm sure photos don't do it justice, which is why I'm looking forward to owning it someday. But still, I just love the shine, the gleam, and the crisp look of the figure. It's just so perfect for Spyro's traditional dragon design, mind you. Hence why it's number two on the list. And I do hope to own it someday, like the other chase variants I have on my list, for example. 
All right, so my for my second pick, I actually do don't have this figure standard version, and that is going to be Rock Candy Pinata. I chose this figure because it looks really cool. I really like the like the translucent trans translucent um, blue down to like a starts like deeper and then goes um, lighter, kind of clear color, and like. I don't have Pinata, which just makes it all the more coveted to me, which is why if I ever do get Rock Candy Pinata before I get Pinata, that'll just make it all the more special. And I've kind of got a thing for blue Chase France, kind of like that. Because like Snowder Dash, and I think the upcoming pick, first pick, is also blue. And I just think all the blue, and like, like December looks really nice. It's got the same thing with, uh, Rock Candy Pinata, Storm Blades, Chase variant. I don't think that's blue, but for some reason I can't get it out of my head that it's got a blue tint. But Rock Candy Pinata has definitely got to be my second favorite. But number one is going to be a Chase variant very close to my heart. Is Golden Snowflocked Prison Break. Now, Prison Break is a character that I find incredibly underrated as is. Sure, he's slow, but his attacks and strategy being unique to him and not being found for any other character in the franchise is ultimately what makes him a character worth taking a second look at if you're one of those people who don't like the character. Sure, he is incredibly nerfed in Swap Force and Imaginators, but when you place him on the portal for any of those other games, you are going to just remain so heavily invested and concentration heavy in the gameplay because you need to focus on angles and spacing in order to be effective with this guy. He is not a primary attack and win type character. So that alone makes Prison Break really interesting to me, but seeing a light core effect that is as bright and as strong as it is, decked out in gold, I mean gold just truly is the most wolfiest, most coolest colour you could apply to anything and it's scattered all over this figurine here. It's all over it. Gold just gives you such a high standard for a figurine itself and it just really lives up to that. If a character looks golden, it feels golden, it deserves to be golden. And on top of that, it's not our packaging here, but I'm sure if I were to take it out for texture it would be awesome because it has that snow flockiness on top of it. So having that additional texturing would be incredibly fun outside the box, mind you. So he is gold and then snow flocked as cherry on top of the cake. It's just such a sheerly detailed and awesome figurine to look at. It's so awesome, in fact, that my focus is, uh, you know, just taken away by a sheer awesomeness that it can't concentrate and focus in upon it, mind you. You know, the packaging itself is glorious alongside the gold and the snow because of the silver foil of the packaging. And it has a personal connection to me too because I bought this as a substitute for a lack of a 300 subscriber button. So, you know, it's shiny. You can see it reflecting it all now. And it has that personal connection to me. Plus, it's gold with snow flocks with cherry on top of cake. I'm repeating all of this just to emphasize how glorious this chase variant is in my eyes. In fact, I'm looking at my eyes aren't popping out of my head due to raw exposure to pure awesomeness right now. And with that being said and done, golden snow flock prison break is an easy, easy number one for me. And I hope you enjoyed my portion of the list. My apologies that I did ramble in places, but that's just part of my charm. Conquertron, you did ask for this. So in the words of the mighty tough work, a deal of it. But enough has been said. Uh, let's get back to Conquertron. But still, a massive thank you for being included as part of this collaboration. It was an honor that you thought of me to be included on your channel. So it was great being here. Conquertron has some amazing content and I could not recommend him more to you. So be sure to smash that subscribe button. You can thank me later. So for my first favorite um, chase variant, sorry, is going to be the metallic blue E3 2012 Series 2 Chop Chop. Now this is my favorite for several reasons. One, I really, really like the metallic paint jobs on all of them. I, like I've got two metallic greens that look really nice. Like, it's not the best shaded green, but it still looks nicer than I thought from the pictures. And the, what's unique about it is because it's the only metallic blue. Like, there's three metallic greens, three metallic purples. Um, 
think that's about it for the metallics. I don't know, just in general, I really like the way the metallics look, but the way with the one uh, metallic blue just makes it all the more special, you know? So, um, yeah. And it's also Chop Chop. And Chop Chop's my favorite Skyliner Series 2 version is my favorite one. And it just looks really nice overall, which is why um, the that one is my favorite. Well, that was scuffed. But anyways, I just want to, before I give it back over to Knight for his thing, I just want to thank him again. Um, so, I guess I'll let him have that one. 